The coronavirus is taking a toll on health workers who are exposed to this virus on a daily basis. KFOX 14 News at 5's Holly Bach joins us live from far east El Paso with the story of a local nurse who ended up hospitalized. Holly. Well, I want you to imagine being a nurse and spending every day over the last couple of months treating COVID-19 patients, and then you yourself become a COVID-19 patient. That's exactly what happened to Adriana Sacedo, who tells me she wasn't sure if she was going to survive. When I got that diagnosis, the first thing that hit my mind was a death sentence. And, and I... And I'm not too sure why it just went to that because I saw what it was doing to our patients. Adriana Sacedo is a nurse at the hospitals of Providence, but for the past 32 days, the tables had turned. She was the patient. And that was probably the scariest thing of my life because I couldn't breathe. 17 of those days were spent in the intensive care unit. Seeing my brother be told, you know, through that window, you know, prepare yourself for the worst. The virus played tricks on her memory. So for 14 days, I was in and out of, I guess, consciousness. The disease also left a lasting impact on her body. Literally, it debilitated me. I physically had to pretty much learn how to walk. This virus leaves you isolated in a room with no physical contact with your loved ones. Adriana saw it as a nurse, then experienced that same heartbreak as a patient. I haven't seen my nephews for 45 a day. My touch to them is through Facebook and through FaceTime, you know, and to get a four-year-old's message that, Nana, I miss you, you know, that breaks my heart. Adriana is currently receiving therapy at an inpatient rehab center. And right now, I can only physically walk up three steps without being extremely short of breath. I currently still don't have a taste for food. Oh, there is still so much we don't know about the virus, but Adriana is certain that she owes her life to all of her colleagues currently on the front lines. I had an army of family, friends, and miracle workers that, that saved my life. I finally saw light at the end of the tunnel. Adriana isn't sure how much longer she will be in rehab, but as a nurse who says she knows what this virus is capable of, she says the best thing to do right now is to wear a face covering. For now, reporting live here in Far East El Paso, Holly Bach, KFOX 14 News at 5.